In the skies, not all airlines are created equal. Imagine an airline that helped launch Emirates Airline, yet struggled with nearly 26 accidents, including a devastating crash that claimed 97 lives. Then there's the airline whose quick growth hides a risky truth. More than eight severe incidents in a decade. But why do some airlines have such frightening safety records? How do they continue to fly? From the mountainous treks of Nepal to the vast expanses of Kazakhstan, we'll uncover stories that are as alarming as they are compelling. What we're about to reveal will not only shock you, but also give you a new perspective on the dangers lurking in the skies. Get ready for a journey through the world of aviation like you've never seen before. Number 7. Lion Air Established in 2000, Lion Air quickly became Indonesia's largest privately run airline. They weren't just expanding, they were skyrocketing, meeting the country's growing demands for medium haul jets with big orders of Boeings and Airbuses. Lion Air's network is vast, covering over 80 destinations, and they've even launched two additional airlines in Malaysia and Thailand. But beneath this rapid expansion lies a troubling safety record. Describing Lion Air's safety history as atrocious might seem harsh, but the facts speak for themselves. Over the past decade, they've racked up more than eight serious incidents, including runway overshoots and crashes into water. It's almost a wonder there haven't been more casualties. And then there's the 2012 scandal, where crew members were caught with methamphetamine. It's no wonder they're banned from European Union airspace. And as of 2015, the Ministry of Transportation froze 53 of their routes. However, despite the risks, Lion Air's low fares are temptingly hard to pass up. It's a classic case of risk versus reward, with passengers lured by affordable travel options despite the safety concerns. Lion Air has only managed to snag a one-star rating from AirlineRatings.com, and unless they make some serious changes, that is where they're likely to stay. Number 6. Terra Air Terra Air might not be a name you hear often unless you're planning a trip to the remote corners of Nepal. This airline has a low international profile, but it's got its own unique story. Operating since 2009, it's a youngster in the airline world. Yet in just six years, Terra Air has managed to make some waves, but not the kind you'd hoped for. Here's the thing, Terra Air is the go-to airline for those looking to explore Nepal's rugged foothills. If you're itching to trek in the Himalayas, Terra Air might be your ticket to the mountains, but it's known as one of the world's most dangerous airlines. The fact hits hard, especially if you're flying to Lukla. That's the notorious airport gateway to Everest Base Camp and other treks in the Himalayas. Flying to Lukla with Terra Air can feel like a gamble, a real roll of the dice when it comes to safety. Let's talk numbers. Terra Air's safety record is far from reassuring. In just two years, 2010 and 2011, they had three incidents with a tragic total of 22 lives lost. Plus, Terra Air is on the EU's no-fly list and doesn't hold any big-name safety certificates. There are whispers they're coming for IOSA recognition, but that's still up in the air. Number 5. Blue Wing Airlines Blue Wing Airlines, operating out of Suriname, paints a cautionary tale in the world of aviation. Since its inception in 2002, this regional carrier, based at Zorgan Hoop Airport in Paramaribo, has been navigating turbulent skies both literally and metaphorically. Blue Wing's operations, primarily in the interiors of Suriname, Guyana, Brazil, Venezuela, and the Caribbean, are fraught with challenges reflecting in its troubled safety record. The airline's history is marred by multiple accidents, including a devastating crash in 2008 that claimed 19 lives. Investigations into these incidents have unearthed troubling issues, lapses in pilot training, maintenance practices falling short, and regulatory oversights that leave much to be desired. These factors combine to create a concerning picture of an airline grappling with critical safety aspects. Blue Wing's fleet, particularly its four Antonov 28s, has come under scrutiny. The early 2000s saw these aircrafts criticized for failing to meet certain safety regulations, notably the absence of ground proximity warning systems, or GPWS. This lack of essential safety equipment is a glaring red flag in an industry where safety margins are non-negotiable. 
Over the past decade, Blue Wing's safety woes have continued, with several crashes leading to tragic loss of both crew and passengers. This pattern of incidents has led to the airlines being blacklisted by the European Union, a significant setback, reflecting deep-rooted safety concerns. Number 4. Nepal Airlines Nepal Airlines has a story that's hard to ignore. Back in 1958, it was just a small airline with a few local flights. Now it's grown to cover more than 39 destinations, including seven international ones. But there's a twist. You won't find them flying to any European Union countries. Why? They're blacklisted. The safety track record of Nepal Airlines is concerning. They've had quite a few accidents since the 1960s. The one that really sticks out happened in 2014. A flight to Joomla crashed, and 18 people lost their lives. It's a harsh reality that overshadows their operations. What's surprising is Nepal Airlines' stance on safety audits. In an industry where safety checks are paramount, this airline has not participated in any internationally recognized safety audits. This stance has not gone unnoticed. AirlineRatings.com, a site that rigorously ranks airline safety, has given Nepal Airlines just one star out of a possible seven. It's a rating that speaks volumes, echoing the concerns of travelers and industry experts alike. Number 3. SCAT Airlines Based in Kazakhstan, SCAT stands for Special Cargo Air Transport, but its journey since 1997 has been anything but inauspicious. Earning the title of one of the world's most dangerous airlines in just over two decades is no small feat. The airlines has had a relatively incident-free history, but 2013 changed that narrative. A tragic crash from Kokshita to Almaty saw 21 lives lost, a somber reminder of the risks. There have been a few other minor incidents underscoring a constant theme, safety concerns. The story of SCAT is not just about the fatal crashes, it's more about the European Commission's lack of trust in its regulatory process. The skepticism isn't just about SCAT, it's spilled over to other Kazakh airlines too. If Kazakhstan is in your travel plans, you might want to look at alternatives like Air Astana for a safer flight. Despite being a low-cost carrier, it's been given just one star by AirlineRatings.com. That's a rating you can't ignore. Yes, they're FAA approved, but that's a thin silver lining in a clouded sky. Number 2. Pakistan International Airlines Pakistan International Airlines, the national flag carrier of Pakistan, has a story that's both historic and troubled. Dating back to 1946 as Orient Airways, it transformed into Pakistan International Airlines after Pakistan gained independence. This airline isn't just a carrier, it's a piece of history. Pakistan International Airlines played a pivotal role in the launch of Emirates in 1985, lending aircraft, technical aid, and crew. But beneath this legacy of support and growth lies a turbulent safety record. With nearly 26 fatal and non-fatal accidents, the reasons often point to an incapable crew and failure to adhere to global airline SOPs. The recent years haven't been kind to Pakistan International Airlines' safety record. 2016 saw a huge blow in Pakistan International Airlines' reputation with the crash of Flight 661, an ATR-42 which resulted in the death of 47 people. This was the first major crash of the airlines in the recent decade. The most recent and harrowing incident in May 2020 casts a long shadow over Pakistan International Airlines. An Airbus A320 crashed in Karachi claiming 97 lives out of 99 passengers, along with all eight crew members. Following this, Pakistan International Airlines' safety practices came under intense scrutiny. AirlineRatings.com awarded it just one star. The crash was attributed to pilot error, a loss of situational awareness that proved catastrophic. Adding to Pakistan International Airlines woes, it's banned from operating in both the United States and European airspace due to concerns over the validity of its pilot's certificates. Pakistan International Airlines' story is one of contrasts, from aiding in the launch of a leading airlines to struggling with its own safety challenges. Number 1. Cam Air 
Sam Air's journey began in 2003, marketing it as Afghanistan's first privately owned passenger airline. With its hub in Kabul, it's been handling both domestic and regional international flights. But here's a twist. Cam Air had aspirations to touch down in Europe. That dream was cut short in 2010, when the European Union banned all Afghan carriers, including Cam Air, citing safety concerns. The last 12 years for Cam Air have been turbulent to say the least. A major crash resulted in 96 passengers and 8 crew members losing their lives. Other alarming incidents include a bomb threat and a tail strike that wasn't taken seriously. These events contributed to the EU's ban and painted a picture of an airline struggling with safety management. But it doesn't end there. Kim Air hasn't completed the crucial International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, audit, and it's also barred from American airspace. These are glaring red flags in the aviation industry. It's clear Kim Air has a mountain to climb in terms of safety improvements. For now, it remains at the bottom of the list, a reminder of the challenges that some airlines face in ensuring passenger safety. As passengers, our journeys are often focused on destinations, yet the journey itself holds tales of triumphs and turbulations, risks and resolutions. The airlines we've discussed today remind us of the continuous efforts required to maintain safety in the skies, a task that's as vital as it is challenging.